Okay, we're in progress. It's not a... Good morning again. Uh, welcome to the Today's Restaurant News Networking Group. Well, we are here to, to get to know each other so that we feel comfortable with each other and are able to introduce each other to our clients without any uh, fear of having a negative blowback for a job that's not well done. Because we know everybody in the group does an A1 job. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is do our uh, introductions, try to keep it uh, to two minutes, and we're going to start. I'm Howard Appel, founder and publisher of Today's Restaurant News, and we're going to start out with uh, Steve Whitehill. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Steve Whitehill, and I'm the owner and president of Anchor Business Brokers, and I help people buy and sell businesses. Uh, we are sort of mergers and acquisition specialists, and we also help people plan their exits. We turn an illiquid asset into cash. And let me give you an example of a business that's available for sale. Here's a, um, a specialty grocer, and it has sales of uh, just around $3 million. And the owner benefit, as I like to say, is about $470,000, which is not bad. And by the way, what's really interesting, that business can be bought for only 800,000. It's a four-year-old business, has uh, six employees and two managers. So it's a nice little business with a, with a decent history. Uh, it's in Broward County. Um, that's just an example of the type of business that I have available for sale. Steve Whitehill, Anchor Business Brokers. We wanna help you live the life you want. Thank you. Uh, Ed, good morning. Good, good morning. morning everybody. Good morning, everybody. My, my name is Ed Gurton with Seco Sales. We're located in Orange Park, Florida, and we've been in business for close to 14 years. We're an equipment supply company specializing in frozen dessert equipment, ice cream machines, gelato, batch freezers, whipped cream machines, slushy machines. We cover uh, the Southeast Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, Florida, and the Caribbean. We represent Carpigiani. ISA, BGI, and a couple of the smaller Italian uh, specialty companies. With that, have a good day, everybody. Thank you. How about Rick? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Rick Ezra with Affiliated Health Insurers. We are officially at the first day of annual enrollment, which starts today, October 15th, and runs through December 7th. So what we basically do as a broker services is we help review uh, the individual's plans to make sure that the plan they're on will be suitable for them for the 2022 uh, year for uh, Medicare. Um, and uh, we are based in uh, South Florida. Uh, we also have an office in North Alabama. Uh, we are licensed in Alabama, Tennessee, and Florida. Uh, once again, Rick Israel with Affiliate Health Insurers. We help guide you through the Medicare maze. Great. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Uh, how about Chris? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Chris Kaufman, morning. Chris Kaufman and Company, C-H-R-I-S, my first name, an acronym for clubs, hotels, restaurants, institutions, and sales. Because since Monday, April 6, 1981, those are the five disciplines where we have made placements, basically putting aces in great places. That's our motto. We work on behalf of clubs, hotels, restaurants, institutions, and sales, with about 70% of our business actually being in the restaurant industry, because that's the industry that I happen to have uh, spent about seven years before I got into the recruiting game. We work on behalf of the companies, uh, but we serve two audiences. <laughs> Audience number one is the company that's paying the bill. The, they pay the freight, they pay the recruiting fee. So it's incumbent upon us to divine their culture, make sure they have, we have an understanding of what they want. Not what we want or not what we've been, but what they want. Audience number two would be the candidates. We have to make sure that we're talking with candidates who are authentic and have backgrounds that can be verified. So while there are opportunities for companies to post opportunities for employment with their companies on the internet, we also 
use the internet. We also have a database of thousands of people because since Monday, April 6, 1981, I've met a few people. So we work uh, throughout the United States. Most of the work is in the Southeastern United States. And I have an office in Ackworth, Georgia, Vidalia, Georgia, and today in Blue Ridge, Georgia. So uh, we're, we're as near as your phone, 24 seven, 365. Chris Kaufman, C-H-R-I-S, Kaufman and Company. We look forward to being of service to you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Terry, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, I was late, little mishap. Anyways, uh, excuse me? Um, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said something. Um, I handle the monthly leads report, which actually our, our uh, database of restaurants and email addresses are getting pretty huge. Um, when one closes, there is one right behind it coming in. Um, these are monthly reports that have hundreds of leads in the you'll get complete information from where they're at in the construction phase, signing a lease phase, breaking ground, um, completion to the owner's name, the company, um, email address, phone number. And many times you're gonna get the owner's phone number because we have to really study and go through like where the city permits are, and that's the phone number that's on there. So many, many times you're going to get the per the actual person. Um, there are a lot of lot of chains moving in to Florida that have never been here. There are a lot of startup chains. There are a lot of mom and pops coming in with more than one unit. Um, I can't tell you how many I've had in just the last couple of months. Um, there are people that get these reports. In our 11 o'clock group, I would say half of them get them. And the salespeople from, you know, Cisco, the FRA, uh, Gordon Food Service, um, they all renew year after year. Uh, I have six seconds left and I'll take the time. Have a good weekend, everyone. <laughs> hey, thank you. Let's go. By the to, way, if anybody wants a sample, send me an email and I will send you a sample. Or go to the website, www.trnusa.com. Howard, the other Howard. Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Howard. The name of my company is The Gasket Doctor. We have a, we service uh, customers from all over South Florida. And we do replacements of gasket seals, cutting boards, and also strip curtains that go in warehouses, warehouse doors, refrigeration doors, and all these products save energy and help the environment. So um, I, I do a free estimate out to the, the restaurants. We go and sur uh, survey the restaurant and look at their gaskets and seals. And we give them a report on their, uh, through an email system and we email them the report and they uh, then decide, <laughs> they decide if they want to do the job, but most restaurants need gaskets and seals. Some of our customers are uh, uh, morgues, hospitals, uh, convenience stores, and uh, uh, hotels. And you make it easy for them to reorder by, by getting their uh, information and putting it into your database, right? Yeah, so we have a sticker system that we go out to the restaurant and we put a, uh, a numerical sticker on their unit, and then we have all the information on that that unit, and then all they have to do is call for the next time and tell us that this is the sticker number, and now all we have to do is go to uh, and send them the gasket, and it saves them a lot of money. Uh, 
Don't blow your gasket. Call the gasket doctor today. <laughs> Thank you. I like that. That's good. <laughs> now let's go to the troublemaker, Ted. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> I hate the fact that you look at my input as 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 trouble. It is. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can certainly I can certainly shut up and I'll be happy. No, 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 no. You did great. All right. So uh, I'm Ted Shepard. Um, I'm with Be Connected locally. We are in uh, two uh, areas, but in the same genre. We do direct mail. We do direct mail, which is postcards, and we do direct mail, which is shared mail. And uh, direct mail has really had a resurgence in the last uh, five years. It is highly effective in getting more effective. One of those reasons is that the, uh, there's less coming into people's mailboxes with people going on to um, electronic billing and that sort of thing. So uh, we're also able to, because of the uh, data we can get, we're able be, to be able to direct the uh, mail to very specific target audience. So our latest ability is the ability to direct right to people who have birthdays on any given month. And this has taken off fantastic with our restaurants, like nothing I've ever seen. And that ability to target people having a birthday, when you think that birthdays happen every month and with every restaurant, on average, there are 1,000 to 1,500 birthdays happening in their marketplace. So inviting people into the restaurant to celebrate their birthday, when birthday crowds, there's basically maybe four to 10 people, they spend more to, uh, per table and they tip higher. And those birthday uh, uh, groups have been a huge success. The second thing that we've done now is new homeowners. That, excuse me, not new homeowners, but new movers, movers to the territory or movers to the area that have just moved in. They don't know what restaurant they go to. They have no experience and their neighbors, their new neighbors recommend restaurants. So to get into that new mover into that marketplace first has been a phenomenal success for us. And that has just come up in the last six months since we kicked off our birthday program. Ted Shepard, be connected locally. Thank you no, very much. Uh, in, in light of the labor shortages that we're, uh, the industry is experiencing, the fact that you bring people into a restaurant and bring people with your birthday person that increases the tip amount, that helps a restaurant owner keep his, his wait staff happy and making money during this tough time. So the You're absolutely right, Howard. <laughs> That's we also, because we print each piece uh, custom for that particular restaurant, we also have the ability to have offers at specific times. You have waiters that are there at lunchtime. Tips are not that, that great, but they can have specials during lunch to attract the business traffic as well. Because all those people that have residences also work in the area. Right. So that works as well. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Brian, good morning. Okay. All right. Uh, good morning. Uh, Brian with uh, Rogue Financial Group. We're a commercial financing company. Uh, we have uh, work all over the country uh, providing uh, equipment financing to uh, all industries from primarily the restaurant industry. We work with that, convenience stores, breweries, uh, do a lot lately with uh, Yellow Iron, uh, which is construction equipment. So we also uh, can provide uh, to, um, financing to startups. People that are starting up uh, a business need equipment financing. So we can provide that. We have, uh, what else we offer? You know, uh, small projects to very large projects. So uh, again, Brian with the uh, Royal Financial Group. Great. So you, if, if a restaurant is looking to redo the kitchen and they need equipment, you can lease them the equipment. Correct. Arrange, leasing, for, the, arrange, for, the, arrange for the leasing. Real quick, uh, leasing has changed a lot over the years. So leasing, really at the end, you own the equipment. Uh, used to be about 15 years ago, fair market value not to exceed 
10%. So at the end, you would have like a, a balloon. Today, it's like either dollar in, dollar out. You own the equipment, it's yours. You can also pay it off early without a, uh, a penalty. Um, it also offers uh, tax credits. So. Great. Chris, I have a question for you. Do you. On your candidates, do you do a background check on these people? We love to. Um, however, some companies have their own uh, relationship with a background company. but. Um, we, we gladly do it. We gladly check references. Some companies want to check their own references. And here's why. I had a client and I said, I'll be glad to check the references. And he says, no, 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 we'll do it. I said, why? He said, because if I call a company and say, would you rehire the guy? And they go, eh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and I call somebody else and say, would you rehire the guy? And they go, oh, absolutely. Well, that's two different answers, but they're both checked mark as a yes. But what did you really hear? And that's why he wanted to check his own references. But I, I gladly check references because it helps to expand my, my universe. A lot of companies are shocked that actually some of these references are being checked. Uh, one thing we do is a social security check uh, through a third party company called Sarma out of San Antonio. The reason that's important if you get a resume and, the, and the, get a guy's resume and it says Atlanta, 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 and you do a social security check and it comes back as Atlanta, Atlanta, Nashville, Tennessee, Dallas, Texas, Seattle, Washington, Atlanta. Then you can say, well, Mr. Candidate, it looks like you worked in Seattle, maybe even Dallas. And then you can find out if somebody's a phony baloney just through a social security check, which is open, mm. which is, they agree, they have to sign off that it's okay to check their background. And if they don't sign off, then they're not, <laughs> they're not gonna be interviewed. Mm. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, checking the background, checking the references, validating it's, it's a case by case basis. We gladly do it uh, because we want, we want placements that will stay. We, we have a 100 day, full replacement guarantee that if the candidate leaves for any reason in those first hundred days, we will replace them at no additional fee. Okay, thank you. That's great. Uh, I guess that leaves me. Uh, I am Howard Appel, as I said before. I'm the founder and publisher of Today's Restaurant News. We have been publishing for 25 years and we are a fully digital newspaper since 2018. Of course, we offer advertising within our newspaper, which is posted on our website, www.trnusa.com. And we also offer email marketing. We have a database of over 16,000 restaurants who we can send your information to. And um, we also do video e-blast marketing to that same database. And both of those get posted on social media, our social media sites, <clears throat> which have uh, combined over 20, 25,000 contacts all within the industry. So you're really getting a tremendous amount of coverage by working with today's restaurant news. And that brings us to the end of our meeting for today. I'd like to thank you all for coming. If you'd like any information about joining us at this meeting, please give us a call at 561-620-8888 to see whether there's a conflict with an existing member or not. Uh, thank you all. We'll see you next week.